I'm going, man, before you take advantage. You step foot in this yard. Why? It's half my house. Now, I'm gonna call the police. For what? Disloyalty, boy. Disloyalty? What is you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what it is, home bully. Yo, you ain't been to the set, ain't came to none of the meetings. Mm, hanging out with old men, ignoring your homies, acting all superior? Your mama would turn over in her grave, boy. Mm -hmm. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gang banger? Gangs is positive. That's all we got, my nigga. That's our heritage. Ain't nothing positive about your crazy ass. Man, where Tanisha at? She got more sense than to hang out with your sorry ass. You know you always been like this, boy. I say left, you say right. I say become a doctor. You say become a patient. I say, who is that? Hello, Missy. Wow, Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise, Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass. Shut sister. the fuck up! Yeah, shut the fuck up! Here, darling, why don't you go get yourself something nice, okay? Oh, thank you. <laughs> is, is it seven dollars? I said something nice, not expensive. You want to be a greedy fucking cow, huh? No. Now get the fuck out of here, all right? You men are all the same. Man, what the fuck you doing here? Here with the boy. The boys. What? I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends, all right? Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. Man, I said I'm tired, dawg. What fucking thing? I love things. I'm the king of things. I ain't talking to you, homie. Hey, let's go do something about the thing, okay? What thing? I'm talking about the little stress thing, man. Fucking beautiful. Perfect. It's a gangbang. Let's go. Come on. Oh, come on, man. This fool, man. What is man, just from, come man? on. Where's this thing happening? Down Grove Street. We shooting shit up, spraying some other fuckers. I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. Lamar, what's happening? What you in stress set up? We buying weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga, for real. Not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you in stress concern. Man, this is an investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh! First rule of business. Hey, since we're out here banging, either of you got some dust? Fool wanna get butt naked? <laughs> I'll get whatever it takes me, homeboy. Homie's crazy, man. <laughs> so I've heard. Homie live up here. Hey, look, everybody be cool, man. Lamar about to do his thing, all right? Hey, yo. Hey, be on point. This fool janky. Courier service. Packers to collect. You got the grip? Present and accounted for. <laughs> you like that, huh? Sample? <laughs> now we talking. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 My throat getting numb already. So we good, nigga, right? Mm -hmm. Well, let's go. How about a taste? No, man, we leaving. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now you heard what your boy said, you're leaving. Hey, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Back. Whoa. What the fuck? Did we ask for a key or a fucking ounce? Man, that's motherfucking drywall. Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here. Damn, you can't fucking hustle a hustler. Fuck off. Ah. We gotta get off the road tonight! Fuck! They brought the van! We on foot now! Chop! Get the fuck out of here! Road time! What are we waiting for?
So what's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I sourced worked to child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planning lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. Now, he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now... Consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared!
Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some wannabe. Man, you get what you give out, Mr. Lowry. We got a shooter! Take cover! Shot fire! Shot fire! Where is that son of a bitch? Oh, no, 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 It's done. I know. Good work. All right. Well, she let me know about the next thing. Will do. Uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets, you know, property. So we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man. Whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit. Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking, that probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours, enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. Okay, you know Redwood cigarettes? Sure, the cigarette that built America. They've rigged a jury to throw a class action lawsuit that would cover the treatment costs of thousands of emphysema sufferers. There are four corrupt jurors on Redwood's books. I'll send you the details. Oh, and we only have a few hours to make them disappear. The court case is tomorrow morning. Is that all, dog? Shit, that's quite a favor. And that's quite a house you're living in. Get this done quickly, and I'll try to throw in a sweetener as well. Now, I'd advise picking up some long-range hardware to get this job done. You'll be helping a lot of people with this, Franklin, including anyone who might have a sizable investment in, say, uh, debonair cigarettes.
appreciate this shit. Damn, I ain't got much time left. Okay, that ought to do it. Ah! Hey, L, it's done, homie. All of them. Very good. I'll be in touch. Lucky miss! Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. Shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly, and look at me. Boom! Best shape of my life. Yeah. 
Yeah, I could still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged, not because you're in good shape. Hey, why don't you stick to doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Jesus. I just said the same fucking thing to my wife. Did you see his face that last time I popped it? <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! He <laughs> <laughs> reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston? He's a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. You, mm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep bastard away from me. No, no, no Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing, nothing. I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, high fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP, you know? Oh, you're a so, fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I... Hey! This whoa, whoa, matter. what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. All right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. The guy's your neighbor. Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation... <laughs> If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent ten years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or... Or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you, go. you fool! The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you, 
You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Townley. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? We're silencing someone. We're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Can I get you anything? Hey, you want a coffee? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Wait! What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No! Who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Huh, please, look at me, please. <sighs> Nothing to complain about here, pal. This is totally legit. I will panic! My heart! Don't do it! Don't do it! the water. It shouldn't be legal. It's all in your head, Ferdinand. Don't worry. <laughs> So tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> Did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah. According to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? 
A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave, and you fucking know it. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want to know. Loosen him up! No, please. Dentistry is an industry hasn't advanced in the last hundred years. Still a bunch of sadomasochists. My teeth are perfect! Oh, well, you ain't gonna be chewing steak anytime soon. I don't want to get out of here. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I'm ready to talk. I got given up. The That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, 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 yeah. This guy we're after. What does he look like? I was built. I was height, middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? You're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? I see a couple guys that are way too old and too fat to be doing a political assassination. We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. Oh, Sorry, too no. late. Trevor, show our contestant what he's oh, won today. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. Woo! It ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What? Oh, oh. It is going to hurt. <laughs> Knee shot. <laughs> so what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Ah, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. Oh, he, he, got beard. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time, just to be sure. No, please, no. Uh -huh. I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. This will put hair on your chest. Take another tooth, please. I will die. No! Don't do it! No! No clips! I think he's getting a stiffy. Mr. K. Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. 
Okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Any these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says it smokes like a pack of two a day. Red with cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. About as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Davey, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe, could be, used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work, the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball <sighs> game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. Where are you taking me to? Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Oh, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. <coughs> oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you going to hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 no. You have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're going to get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're going to spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate. Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We needed to get information to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me with you. Jesus Christ, good grief. I thought we really bonded, but now I'm having my doubts. No one drives me to the airport. Me. Run. You're free. Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. 